Warning, this video contains content that's dark and manipulative. It's only for defensive purposes and for entertainment. Viewer's discretion is advised. Listen guys, one of the reasons why a lot of you guys get frustrated with women is because a lot of you guys think that women like you when in reality they're just using you for attention. When in reality they're just not over their exes. When in reality they're not really as interested as they come across and that tends to create a lot of bitterness, that tends to create a lot of confusion. So today we're going to be talking about the signs that a woman really likes you. When you're able to, to, to tell if she likes you and when she doesn't like you, it avoids a lot of manipulation. And the reason why a lot of you guys sort of unconsciously sort of hate women, to be honest with you, unconsciously resent them, is because they confuse you. It's that confusion. And so you're not able to see through the curtains. You're not able to see through the emotions. You're seeing women through a fog of emotions because they raise, they raise expectations and then they pull away and it makes you sort of feel resentful. It frustrates you. So this is the most important sign that a woman likes you. And before that, I want you guys to thank all of our Patreon supporters because, because of them, we are allowed to increase the quality of the videos. All right, so gay, say thank you. And you see them here, say thank you, motherfuckers. Be, be, be nice, say thank you to all the freeloaders. Say thank you to them, all right? The most important sign is compliance. Compliance, all right? Now, why this? Compliance isn't just that she's sucking your dick. Right, because you have a woman, like I always say, she'll gargle on your day, and that, that'll mean she likes you. She might come over once, but that'll mean she likes you. The most important sign that she likes you is compliance and consistency. Compliance, like for example, you might say, hey, let's hang out, and she'll say, yeah, sure. And they'll be like, and you'll be like, let's go here. And she'll say, nah, let's go here. Let's, let's, do, let's, let's meet up halfway, that's not compliance. You'll, see, you'll tell the woman, hey, um, come over today. And then she'll say, oh, no, I'm a little busy. I can't. And then she won't, and then she won't um, schedule another date. Her, if you ask her, show me, your, show me your hands, right? And then she's like, no. Or, she's, or you, come, you say, come on, sit over here. And she says, no. Compliance is the number one sign that she likes you. Simple compliance. Does she comply? Or does she always put up objections? For example, I had a woman when I was in, in Colombia where she was bad as shit. And we were fucked, don't get me wrong. But she always had a little fucking obstacle. She always said, yeah, sure. She would like, come over here, kiss me. She was like, no, you come over here and kiss me. And I'm like, what? She did that shit two, three times. And after that, I was like, you know what, man? Like, it's a struggle just to, just to do simple shit with you because you always have to put, you always have to be the one that, that has the control. I'd be like, yo, come over here. And she was like, no, you come over here. I'm like, and it's not like she didn't want to kiss me. Don't get me wrong. Like, if I would come over, she'll kiss me. But it, I had to come over. I had to. Come. So what does that mean? She, yeah, she'll kiss me. Yeah, she was like, she was like my dick. But it was always she. She always had to put a hoop. She always had to had to make me comply so that she could comply. That is not a sign that she she likes you. That's a sign that she, yeah she's interested, but she's not really liking you. With those kind of women, what I would do, man, is just lower your expectations. Take that as a sign of disinterest and be a little colder with her. Be, when I say a little colder, I mean that you only see her once a week. In fact, you'll flake, you'll flake on dates from time to time. What I'm trying to tell you is this, man. If she's having sex with you, whatever the hell it is, right? But she's not completely complying with you. If you ask her to wear something and she says no, if you, if you ask her to bring a bottle of wine and she says no, but yes, she still comes, but it's kind of like her, her compliance is half and half. Take that as not compliant. Take that as a sign of disinterest. Complete, not completely pull away, but put her in the guy version of the friend zone. Just fuck her. Expect her to pull away from time to time. Actually expect her to pull away sometime because she doesn't respect you. When a woman really likes you, she's 100% compliant, 100% compliant. And a lot, of that, a, lot, a lot of that has to do with you. A lot of that has to do with your masculinity, how you're coming across. If you're coming across as a goofball, if, you, if you're coming across as a man that she could respect, that has a lot to do with how she treats you. But generally speaking, my dude, man, if she's putting up objections, if you ask her to come over and she's always canceling on you without setting up a different date, um, all of that kind of stuff, bro, like, just because she's showing some interest, the fact that she always has to put an obstacle, 
The fact that she always has to like, like, like make you do something so that she could do something, that's a sign of some disinterest. And the reason why you want to go to the code to create compliance is because insecurity creates compliance, right? For example, let's just say that you go into a job interview and you really need a job. You'll be a lot more compliant. You know what I'm saying? You'll be, you'll go on time. You'll, you'll, you'll dress how you got to dress. You'll dress to impress. Your, your energy is just going to be more needy per se. But if you don't need a job, um, if you're not too needy about it, what's going to happen is that you might even go a little late. You know, you might even talk a little bit more arrogant, right? So when a woman is is, is not complying with you by not just because just because she goes on a date with you doesn't mean she's complying, right? It's also her attitude. You know, how much is she how much is she is she um, talking back to you, even though you don't own her, right? What I'm trying to say is that when a woman likes you, she's a little bit more submissive to you, right? But when she's more assertive, right? When she when, when she's saying more often no to you, when she's saying, ah, I don't want to do that no more, or, or whatever the hell, there's not that much compliance. Just because she's saying yes to some things doesn't mean she's fully compliant, right? The level of compliance that a woman has is an indication of how much attraction she has, right? So just remember, insecurities is what creates the compliance. It's like when she's insecure about whether or not how much you like her, about where, where she stands. From time to time, not revealing to her how, uh, how you feel about her through your facial expressions, through your tone of voice, right? Through being busy, through canceling days from time to time, right? But again, this doesn't happen when you really genuinely like the girl, which is the fucked up part. Because when a woman really likes you, my dude, she 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 doesn't object. And it's not to say that they're they're your fucking slaves, but it's what people do when they like you. When a woman doesn't want to lose you, she will comply with you. But when when it, when a woman begins to lose interest in you, she'll all of a sudden begin to put in to put up objections. The way to deal with that, like I said, is to when you're noticing that a woman is acting when she's putting up objections, let's say she's doing what she's doing, but She's like, all of a sudden, you'll notice a little reluctance. There's, there's a little bit less compliant. What I would do, just pull away, man. Pull away, cancel the next date, right? Show this interest, right? Stop, stop initiating contact for like a week or two, just to see what would happen. Like with my girl, that happened with me, the girl that I'm seeing, she's, she's really compliant, but there was a one point where she was like, why don't you, she, you know, she was like, she was talking about thing, and she was like, why don't you give me out? And I'm like, uh-oh. Cause she, she never asked that, right? And I noticed that when she asked me that, it was when I was when I was getting a little too comfortable. And she was like, "Why don't you eat me?" Up? She started asking these questions, right? And I'm like, "Okay, she's getting ballsy right now, right?" What I did after that, I just canceled the next two dates. Never heard from that again. Now I'm not saying that every woman's gonna do that, but what I what I'm trying to tell you, bro, is that whenever you see a lack of compliance from a woman, just back away. Just just just, just pull away. Be a little bit more distant. You know, text her, but just be a little bit more distant. And that's why I want you guys. To not make the mistake to 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 be too caught with these women, man. Like, if a woman's showing compliance, if a woman's being submissive to you, my dude, show her you like her from time to time. You know, I don't mind you buying gifts for women. I I, I I'll get a girl a gift. I don't mind. Like, if she if she's being submissive to you, if she if she's a nice girl to you, bro, don't be too cold. If she's complying with you, don't be too fucking cold. But the reason why is because, for example, like I, I, the girl I see, I bought I bought her gift. I bought her like a. A nice notebook, a leather notebook with a pen, right? Because she's really nice to me. So, I, but you know, I don't mind doing that. But the mistake that a lot of you guys make is that you guys are too fucking cold, man. Like, you know, be nice to them, bro. Like, you know, she don't be nice to you. But what I'm trying to tell you, man, is that is that if all of a sudden she's putting up objections to things, that's time to pull away because it gets worse after a while. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, this is Alex from Mind for Attraction, guys. Um, if you guys need one-on-one -on -one coaching, you guys know exactly where to go. And don't forget, become part of the Patreon gang, bro. You see this right here, man. Become part of the Patreon gang. You guys get a lot of benefits. Um, you guys get to watch all of my videos. I put different videos. I have a book club in that as well. I have a whole bunch of, just a whole bunch of different videos, man, that you guys are going to like, all right? All right, this is Alex from My Attraction, and you guys be safe. Peace out. All right, guys. So I want you guys to check out my online course called Dark Game. That's right, people dark game and this course is pretty much i reveal to you the secret tactics the secret techniques to create attraction in almost any woman right but not just attraction 
attraction to the point that makes her want to see you all the time where she's the one initiating all the contact right now now just imagine to be able to keep all of the girls in your life that that you lost because of you because of your stupidity imagine and i had stupidity too imagine being able to keep them imagine being able to have five six women available to you wanting to see you imagine being able to create intense relationships where they're all doing all the work people that kind of stuff does exist people now i'm not going to promise you to that you're going to bang like 40 50 women i'm going to promise you that you're going to be able to keep the women you have that you, you that you get with i can promise you that that they keep on the will increase with this course but let me keep showing you something this course is pretty huge people it's a huge course this course has over 50 videos 50 videos right and some of them you could get for free if you if you just sign up you you get free videos right but in in these videos let me show you guys the the, the course right all right oh, guys, shit. <laughs> that's me right there right in this video i pretty much teach you guys how to find your purpose right all this is how to find your purpose discovering your purpose right i teach you guys then about female psychology all of the principles about female psychology you guys need to understand i then teach you guys the mindset the, the 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 proper mindset that you need that you guys need to deal with women after that i teach you guys 21 videos on how to game i mean pretty it's just, it's just it's pretty much unbelievable man i, I gotta <laughs> make this available right but it's unbelievable how many i pretty much put everything out of game social circuit game strategies threesomes foursomes everything right and on top of that i give you guys a a, um, a few bonuses how to overcome approach anxiety why you can't take actions a dickens pattern to change your mentality how to go from open to transitions right 81 minute long people this is like i don't know how long this is but this is hours hours and i mean hours worth of content and you get a 30-day money back guarantee. I mean, you, you without questions asked. All for $99, people. People, this is originally, this could be this could be around a, a few thousands, to be honest with you, right? But you guys get it for $99, right? All you got to do is just go over here, purchase the course, you know, and you'll get access to it. And if you don't like it, you could just message me and get, and get your money back, people. Look, man, this is, don't be hard-headed, people. Don't be hard-headed. If you, this is the course that you guys need right it gives you guys everything i cover everything i could promise you man this is you're not going to get a more in-depth course on how to attract women and keep them more than this all right anyways people check it out 30 days my money back guarantee there is no risk and you can get the free course you get the free trial the free trial of these videos that you get for free right you guys could just sign up you can watch all of these videos for free, right? And there's no, and you don't have to pay, all right? Anyways, I'll see you guys inside. I run, I want to see you guys inside because again, people, this, you, you can't lose nothing. There's a 30-day money back.